What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to live stream with OBS. So yes, we are back for the OBS tutorials and if you'd like to request an OBS tutorial, then let me know in the comments below. Now you'll see right here I have all my scenes and sources set up. Now if you don't know how to do this, then a link to another video will be in the description. However, if you're familiar with OBS, then I'm pretty sure you've already got this set up. So now we need to come to settings. And here we're going to go to encoding. And here all we're going to be messing with is the quality balance, the max bit rate and the buffer size. Now, the way you're going to judge for the quality balance, I would stick between 9, 8 and 10. So completely up to you, probably 9 is best. Now the max bitrate and buffer size. Now you need to make sure you have this as custom buffer size and they will need to match. Now, this all depends on your upload rate. So if you have a good upload rate, now the way we work out the max bitrate and the buffer size, of course, is using the upload rate. So if you get 1 meg, put 2000. If you get 2 meg, put 3000, if you get 3 meg, 4000, etc. So that's how you judge it. So mine can stay at 3000 like that. The next thing we're going to is the broadcast settings. The most important one, all you need to do here is press yes. And now we need to change mode to live stream. Now the streaming service is completely up to you. Use whichever one you would want to. I'm going to be demonstrating this with Twitch. Now here the FMS URL, pick the one closest to you. So mine would be London, right here. Now here you'll need a play path or a stream key, if any. Now I'm going to be demonstrating this in Twitch like I said. So, if you are going to be doing this on Twitch, sign up and then simply scroll down to the bottom. It's 100% free by the way, unless of course you do get premium. Come here and click get started. Then you can see, looking for your stream key, you can find it on your dashboard. So click this right here. And then to view the stream key, press show key. And press I understand. And there we go. So all you got to do is copy this, go back to OBS, and we're going to paste it here. Now, sometimes OBS gets an error where it says invalid key. All you got to do, reset the key, copy and paste this one. If you get it again, reset the key, copy and paste it again. So it's always going to work. It just might not work sometimes. So if it does happen to you, just reset the key and get a new key. Now you can see right here, we do get a warning saying your OBS settings are not optimized simply because we need to go to encoding, press yes to that, and just press use CBR, so just check that like that. And now we can go to the next thing we're going to do, which is on video. Now here for the custom, now if you are not a partner, then you should stream at 720. If you are a partner, then you should stream at 1080. So most people probably not partner, so 1280 by 720 and there we go that is 1280 by 720 and that is going to give us 720p now if you have good internet come here and change this to 60 fps now if you're lagging come to the resolution downscale and simply downscale it the final thing we're going to do is on the advanced tab so again press yes to apply the changes we just done and it's actually very simple what we have to do here we're only changing one thing which is the video x264 cpu preset is set to very fast what i found out medium is okay so just press yes medium is actually very very good it doesn't affect your video in any way medium is good you should use that of course if you do have a high-end computer you might as well make the most of it and just use ultra fast now in addition to that we need to change the encoding profile to main and now you're all good to go. So if you come to broadcast settings, you can see there'll be no warnings. If there is, just go ahead and fix them. They'll be self-explanatory and literally tell you what's wrong. Simply fix it very quickly. You're good to go. Press OK. Once your game's loaded up, face cam, etc. Press start streaming. So that is it. That is how you live stream in OBS. You're all good to go. Very simple to set up and it should work at a high quality. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request another tutorial on OBS, then let me know in the comments below. Be sure to go follow me on Snapchat or just show you what I do throughout my day. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when we be posting and what we'll be posting. Be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, I'll post 3-4 to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go and check out my technology news channel, I'll keep you updated on the best technology news. That's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.